Welcome everybody, my name is Caleb, and this video series is going to introduce you to building zero-knowledge applications, or ZK apps. Zero-knowledge applications take advantage of zero-knowledge proofs. If you're new to zero-knowledge proofs, it can be a bit confusing to understand. We're going to go through a simple example to understand the concept of zero-knowledge proofs, and then as we go through the series, we will get a better idea of how they work once we get hands-on with the code. This video, our goal is to understand the concepts and get an environment set up to start coding. In the upcoming videos, we will start learning more about building ZK apps. So to understand zero knowledge proofs, consider the example where we have a lock and you know the combination to the lock. You wanna convince me you know the combination, but you don't wanna reveal that combination. This is a good scenario of zero knowledge because you don't want to reveal that information. You want to keep it private. How could I be convinced you know that combination without you telling it to me? Well, one way you could do this would be to open the lock yourself and show me the opened lock. In this scenario, I'd be convinced you know the combination, but you didn't transfer that knowledge to me. Transferring this over to computing, I could be convinced that you executed some code but you don't have to reveal any of your private data or any private inputs into this code. The zero knowledge proof is a proof that I can validate knowing you executed that code correctly. If you're brand new to zero knowledge proofs, understanding what this might be used for can be confusing. I will leave a link to some real world applications that are being built using zero knowledge proofs. And you'll have a better understanding as we start going through this series. In this series, we're going to utilize Mina. Now, Mina is a blockchain protocol that uses recursive zero knowledge proofs itself, but it also allows us to build our own ZK apps on top of it. We're going to understand what that means in more detail soon, but essentially it means that we can verify our zero knowledge proofs in a decentralized manner using the Mina blockchain. Now, fortunately, we're going to be writing in TypeScript and we're going to use Node.js. So head over to nodejs.org and from here you can download with the click of a button. There are various other ways to download Node.js. So for example, you could use Brew. However, this is the way I have always done it and then just go through the installation process. The next thing we're going to need is a code editor. We're going to use Visual Studio Code. Once you have Node installed, you should be able to open a terminal and say Node version and this will tell you what version of Node you have on your system. One of the other tools included with Node is NPM. So that's Node Package Manager. Here is a usage summary, but the most important thing is the ability to install packages. So you can say NPM install and then a name of a package. And the one we are going to be using is the ZK App CLI. This will give us all the tools we need to start developing zero knowledge applications. Great. Now, when you do this, one of the commands you should now have is ZK and that will give you a usage response. You can also say ZK version to get what version. It's good to know what version you have. If you run into any issues, you might need to update to the latest version. Now a more detailed command that you can issue is ZK system, and this will give you a few different versions. So the system you're actually running on, as well as your node version, your ZK app CLI, and snarky JS. This is the actual library that we're going to be using to develop the zero knowledge applications. And this will show a version once we start a project. If at any time you run into issues and you're trying to get support, you can use ZK system just to make sure people understand what version you're running. And you can also check if anything is outdated. That's all we're doing in this video. We have the tools we need, which include Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and the ZK app CLI. And you have a basic understanding of a zero knowledge proof. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to generate a ZK app and talk about deploying that to the Mino blockchain. Before we go, I wanted to mention two useful resources. The first is you can join the developer newsletter, which will give you the essentials to getting started with ZK apps. And then the second resource is the link to the playlist, which will allow you to watch all of these videos through. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.